Welcome to another episode. I created the channel mainly just to kind of switch myself into a different mindset. Uh, I've been doing so many corporate projects that sometimes you kind of have to go back to your creative basics and why you started doing this in the first place. I have to be very thankful for all the projects I've been able to do on a corporate level. They definitely let me be able to do this full time. I've had the greatest opportunity to be able to work with a lot of great, great people within the corporate realm. Had a good friend of mine back in, in Texas uh, who always said pushing the, the corporate envelope. And it was funny because we would always joke about like we want to do more creative things. But every time we tried to, it obviously got pulled back. You know, the corporate life is a different, different beast in its own. The, the creative side to me has always, always been on the back of my mind to want to get back into doing it. Toronto, this place is full of creative juices and people who have a different mindset. So what I decided to do, you know, on my journey is to start making my own things. And the only way you can actually become better on the creative side is to create your own opportunities. So a few weeks ago, I decided I'm gonna reach out to the Facebook community. And I asked a, a group of uh, cinematographers online, hey, what's a good way that you guys get back out there and showcase a different angle or a different side of your creativity? And someone suggested, well, why don't you just reach out grab some local actors, some who are either one trying to rebuild their, their portfolio, ones who are learning to get back in the portfolio and then see who you, can, who you can utilize to do a project. And now originally I was just gonna do like me, an actor, and let's just do this. The problem is, is you know, when you start doing it that way, then you're back to the guerrilla lifestyle and I'm, I feel like I'm back in university doing that all over again. Instead, I decided to think about like, let, let, let me go about it the more you know, structured way, do it as if I was being paid to do the project. So then I went online and also found the acting groups in Toronto and, and, and reached out. By the way, holy crap, there's a lot of you guys and that's awesome. I, I got close to 100 responses, it was pretty intense. Uh, I'm gonna find someone who actually knows how to write because I don't write. She helped me sift through all the different people that we had to go through. So I really, really reached myself to say, I'm gonna see how far I can go. So I got into the storyboard idea and I don't draw, so I took my 3D program and made a storyboard out of that. We found this really great location and we came up to a cost that was very um, beneficial to me and I, I felt it was worth the cost to be able to put money forth for his location. Great location. Found some, a lot of people who were like, hey, you guys want to help me? It'd be great to have a crew. I don't want to have to move around lights by myself. Two audio guys. I had a guy help me with lighting. We, we had a PA that she helped me with the clapboard. I showed her how to use the light meter to kind of help me understand where the lights were at. We had a color chart out there to film that because I know in post I'll be doing all the work and wanted to color post it. They were all great. So we got there, we did the project and I ran to obviously the usual challenges. Do you forget how much time sometimes it takes to put everything together. Set up that first scene and that first scene to me looked gorgeous. We did a really good job. We took our time with it. We set it up and what we started to run into is timing. We, the timing challenge was we wanted to get the scenes correct. We wanted to get it right. The balance for me was to remember that when you're on a set, you have to remember that there are people on set that you have to do the challenge of timing. I have to remember to re remind myself when something changes check everything all over again. Technical aspects of lighting, we change the lens, do a, does, does what changes again? And that's my own personal challenge. Uh, we got some pretty good shots. I got some great actors who did a great job. Uh, the crew did a great job. As someone who wanted to really pull out a good win for myself, I, I felt like I fell short. And you, you look back at that and you think in your head like, I've been in this industry for like 14 plus years and here I am stumbling like I'm back in university, what, what is going on? Honestly, what I came to the realization is it's my mindset. I have a different mindset now that I didn't have, you know, when I was working those other projects. It's great to do these and I'm glad that I got to see these shortcomings on my own project. I would hate to be able to fall in these shortcomings with clients' projects. I wanna be able to make sure I do these tests more. I believe that the feedback I get from the community, good or bad, is always a good way to kind of see what they see that you probably didn't see and just kind of go forward from there. Not everyone's gonna like what you do. That's very true. Everyone has a different eye. We are not creatives because we all do the exact same thing. We're creatives because we all have a different mindset. When I finish this project, I can post it up and you guys will see it on this channel uh, as a final piece. Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for the next one I'm gonna throw in there and I appreciate you guys listening to me and walking with me on this journey.